Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. Hello, mister. Hello.
No town or no city. These are Lemoyne heartlands, and you ain't welcome. Why? Don't. Enemies of Lemoyne. Enemies of the Lemoyne. Ah. Where he think he going? Where you going, boy? <laughs> Wrong headed to Be me. Easy. You're okay. Of him to run, but part of me admires him. Mm -hmm. At least you don't die on your knees. Get out of here! Spread the word! Good morning, mister. See you. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. I can handle myself just fine. 
I'm coming. Like I said, ain't happening. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sore? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? <laughs> We good? Uh-huh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. dealing with him or not. shot, Arthur.
Go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! Mister! You know John Marsden? I... He ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything, and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her. Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fellow? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Come on, please. So... You a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Stay down! Oh my god. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson in! He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, some? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, now faster. 14, 15, 16, I hear Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you two. 
Now, no funny business. Will uh, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying uh, once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> Gotta move, come on! I ain't gonna miss. We can't keep this up! Let's move! Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. You seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Ah! Turn that ball around, ah! or we will gun you down. Ah! I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ranted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. 
Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so you might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. To me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Not exactly a welcome home party. Well, you warned me. I'll fill you in some more later. Well, try to keep your head straight. All right then, Arthur.
Hello, Arthur. Look out, Marston. No real reason. Making trouble for those who deserve it always seem reason enough for Dutch. Problem is, I ain't sure he cares who he's fighting no more. This stew is decidedly Can't lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. So, now what are the pair of you scheming about now, huh? You goddamn traitors. You? You were nothing but a street rat when he found you. He believed in you when no other son of a bitch would. Huh, in him? You ain't been nothing but a bad apple from the start. You ain't even been with us a full year, and you think you Actually, know better. I'll come back to you later, okay? I'll listen to your words. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. Easy, whoa. Arthur, hello. What the hell is going on around here? Dutch is crazy as a cat herder. Mike and Bill are turning all kinds of screws on me. The only way this is going to end is with a big old hole Dear in sir, <laughs> you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite.
Please, either. Be gone. Be, be gone. Yep. Hey, friend. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it isn't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. See, but, uh, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. Easy now.
Okay, then. Time to go, boy. Yeah.
Have your tickets out, please. The train's arrived. Welcome, friend. Y'all right there, sir? Yes. Why? Been some grip going around here, and I just thought, uh... Nah, you know what? Never mind. What can I do for you? your trip. Yeah. Eat this, boy. Yeah. How you doing, boy? Yeah, nearly done, boy. No, this ain't what we asked for at all. What? Is this a joke? You trying to pawn crap off on us? I've had enough of this. Both of you get your hands up. Now! Okay, boys. Some people just got no sense of honor.